Where do brilliant ideas come from? How do the world's most prolific artists, entrepreneurs, thinkers, and inventors find inspiration for their ideas, creations, and achievements? Was it their upbringing? Did they have a stroke of good luck? Were they blessed with a special gift that most of us could only dream of possessing? Or is there something else at work? The answer, as you're about to find out, won't just surprise you. It could very well change your life. Back in 1937, personal development pioneer Napoleon Hill published Think and Grow Rich, a book that has become one of the most influential publications of all time, packed full of powerful techniques and instructions on how to develop a wealthy mindset and achieve success beyond your wildest dreams. Think and Grow Rich remains, to this day, the benchmark for all other books of its kind. Among the powerful lessons Hill revealed in his book, there was one particular technique that stood out and shocked its readers. It was so controversial, in fact, that Hill himself was initially hesitant to reveal it at all. The technique was called the Invisible Counselor's Technique. In the book, He'll claim that this was the ultimate tool for sourcing skills, ideas, and inspiration. This visualization technique allowed him to tap into the mind of anyone, living or dead, to gain advice, wisdom, and guidance. He'll admits to having encounters and conversations with Jesus, Lincoln, Socrates, Aristotle, Plato, Homer, Newton, Burbank, Edison, and many other invisible counselors. He said, that while the meetings with my counselors may be purely fictional and exist only in my imagination, they have led me down a glorious path of adventure, rekindled my appreciation of true greatness, encouraged many creative endeavors, and emboldened the expression of honest thought. So, what if you could use this technique at will? What if you could tap into an infinite warehouse of wisdom? What would you ask them? Imagine getting crystal clear answers to questions like, What is my true purpose in life? How can I start making money doing what I love? What can I do next to improve my health, career, or relationship? What beliefs are holding me back from achieving my goals? What is the most important thing I should focus on right now? Here's how the Invisible Counselor Technique works. Step 1. Just before going to sleep at night, or during meditation, close your eyes and visualize a group of people seated with you around a council table. Remember, you can invite anyone you can imagine to join you, and I mean anyone. They could be from down the street or from another part of the world. They could be celebrities, authors, inventors, or famous politicians. They could be alive or dead. If you're needing guidance on leadership, you could invite Abraham Lincoln. If you're looking for enlightenment, you could always get Gandhi to join. If it's financial success you want to discuss, why not bring in Warren Buffett? If you'd like advice on how to grow your business and make your mark in the world, go ahead and call in Sir Richard Branson. You get the idea. Now once you've got your counselors, you become the chairman and prepare to lead the discussion. Step 2. Be sure to have a definitive purpose for holding these council meetings. Your definitive purpose can be anything you're looking to change or improve in your life, or even just something you're looking for advice on. Since all of this happens in your mind, your imagination is the only limit. Step 3. Call on the council members for any wisdom, knowledge, and guidance you wish to receive. You can do this by asking each counselor any question you'd like. Then, keep an open mind and be ready to receive advice and answers in a number of unique ways. Simple enough, right? Well, here's where things get a little weird and controversial. When Hill originally developed the technique, he had meant for it to be completely imaginary, meaning the encounters with his invisible counselors would be nothing more than vivid visualizations. But that wasn't the case. After using the technique a few times, Hill found it to be far more profound, far more real, than he ever thought possible. He reported that during each visualization, his invisible counselors started taking on lives of their own. Hill is quoted describing his experience in detail. Each of these nine men developed individual characteristics, which surprised me. For example, Lincoln developed the habit of always being late, then walking around in a solemn parade. 
Burbank and Payne often indulged in witty repartee, which seemed at times to shock the other members of the cabinet. On numerous occasions, his counselors would give him advice and information that he never could have known on his own. But how could this be possible if it was happening inside his head? How could he be seeing, hearing, and learning things outside his own realm of knowledge? What was going on? Was Hill actually communicating with his counselors on another plane of existence, or did he simply have an overactive imagination? Before you jump to any conclusions, consider this. Napoleon Hill was not alone. For centuries, some of the world's most successful and influential people have reported experiencing similar inexplicable flashes of inspiration. Thomas Edison, one of the most recognized inventors of all time, was quite fond of taking afternoon naps. Often, he'd awake from these daytime slumbers with dozens of new ideas and insights on how to proceed with his next great invention. Interestingly, Edison has been quoted saying, Ideas come from space. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Ideas come from out of space. Walt Disney also had an unusual method for finding creative inspiration. Whenever he had an idea, Disney would run it through a meticulous three-step process made to guarantee that the idea was unique and feasible. So what was the first step? Analyze market conditions? Study the competition? Plan the budget? No. He would simply close his eyes and imagine. All of these highly successful people had one thing in common. They discovered how to tap into a force beyond the confines of their conscious minds and draw from it an infinite amount of wisdom, inspiration, and success. And you could be doing this too. Just imagine what you could achieve if you had access to an endless supply of knowledge that was easily downloaded into your mind, like a scene from The Matrix. You could be a successful entrepreneur, an award-winning painter, a martial arts master, or a famous writer, you could be a better leader. You could be anyone you want to be. Edison and Disney were on to something. Their techniques for tapping into the subconscious mind to gain wisdom and inspiration actually work. And you're about to meet a man who has taken this technique to a whole different level. A man who developed an even more controversial, yet incredibly powerful technique that he has used to build a multi-million dollar online business, become a master painter, photographer, and pianist, and find his soulmate. And all before his 80th birthday. A word of caution, though. You've probably never seen anything like this before. This technique is based on quantum physics, the theory of multiple universes, and new scientific breakthroughs made on the study of the subconscious mind. Tomorrow, you will meet this extraordinary 84-year-old man and learn how to take Napoleon Hill's ideas to a whole new level. One that's out of this world. Stay tuned for the next video.